I would like to start off today by thanking both chairs and specifically this committee for seriously taking on the issue of maternal health, specifically as it relates to maternal mortality and maternal morbidity. I personally first learned of this issue in 2018 during a roundtable with Senator Bob Casey, where a young woman asked what we were doing here in Pennsylvania about maternal mortality issues um, that began making headlines at the time uh, with the Time Magazine article with Serena Williams doing an expose around her challenges during her pregnancy. And thankfully, I was able to talk about the work of this committee um, under the leadership of Chairwoman Rapp around Representative Ryan McKenzie's legislation in 2018 that established a Maternal Mortality Review Committee, which again is responsible for comprehensively reviewing deaths that occur during or within a year of pregnancy. As a result of the review committee, Pennsylvania has not has been able to not only track maternal mortality rates, but we are now able to conduct research, study trends, and develop laws, policies, and recommend best practices to address this issue. But as you know, uh, given that this is a national crisis, we are not out of the woods on this issue. As we've heard nationally, the United States is the least safest country to have a baby with pregnancy-related deaths resulting in over 700 deaths a year. Furthermore, in Pennsylvania, um, it falls in the bottom half of the nation for maternal mortality deaths, ranking 26 in this country. And between 2013 and 2018, we saw a 21% increase in maternal mortality deaths here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. As it relates to maternal morbidity, which we're here to talk about today, it's again any short or long-term health problems that result from being pregnant and giving birth. Every year, tens of thousands of women suffer from severe unexpected health co complications during labor and delivery. And for every pregnancy-related death, there are 70 severe maternal morbidity events or unexpected outcomes of labor and delivery. Unfortunately, the rate of severe maternal morbidity has increased dramatically in recent years, jumping from nearly 200% from 1993 to 2014. Similar to the work of this committee as it relates to maternal mortality, the first step in combating the issue is proper data collection. Accurate and regular tracking of maternal morbidity is essential for comprehensive research that again will lead to further development of laws and policies to tackle this issue. Which is why I urge this committee to vote in the affirmative and move Senate Bill 262 sponsored by Senator Junie Schwenk to the House floor for a vote. As I mentioned in my, my remarks with um, significant investment and policy shifts we've seen across this country on these issues, we are still not out of the woods. If you've been paying attention to the news lately, you would have um, noticed the story of the recent death of Olympic track and field champion Tori Bowie. Uh, which continues to shine a bright light on the need for us in this chamber to act with a sense of urgency to address this issue. Tori at the time was 32. This happened a couple of days ago. Um, she's a three-time Olympic gold medalist, was found unresponsive in her home. She died of clampsia uh, and respiratory distress while in labor. She was eight months pregnant at the time and was identified at high risk during her pregnancy. So again, I thank the committee for focusing on this issue and I ask for you to act with urgency to move this legislation. Thank you.